Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And I can't see a chuffing thing. The light is... The sun's absolutely beaming in my eyes. Hey, God, bloody weather. Hey, I mean, it is September. It's nice and warm. Good evening, Thomas, mate. How are you? So today, um, not that I can see anybody, but... Uh, from Kirkstall Brewery, this is Spokane. This is a West Coast IPA, 6%, straight from the fridge. Uh, so it's lovely and chilled. And I'll tell you what, in this heat we're having at the moment, wow. Chilled is brilliant. You know, it's um, it's been a warm old day. And uh, good evening, mate. Let me just put it onto live chat. I don't know what it is with live chat and top chat. I don't know the difference, to be honest, but... Um, live chat's better. Ah, there we go. And good evening, everyone. So, I hope it's warm where you are in the UK. It is baking in Nottingham. We're in the mid-twenties and it is absolutely <laughs> roasting. It's uh, it's a tad warm and I can just I can just see the uh, screen. Sun's beaming at me. And I used to have curtains I could pull across, but we've got these crappy this crappy gazebo now. And the curtains are crap. Let me try and pull the curtains across. Use as a wet fart. <clears throat> there we go. Still can't see shit. There you go. Anyway, let's pour this out because hey, has it got a first time? So, oh, hey, oh, wow, and that's been sat in the fridge as well, all over my phone. Damn. Oh, not good. Not good. Raining. Oof. We've had a we've had a few showers, but we've had no rain, thankfully. God I hope my phone's okay. What we'll have my bloody phone? And it's been in the fridge as well. Shouldn't be gushing out the fridge. Jesus Christ, you could understand if it if it had been in the heat, I could understand. But not in the fridge. Yeah, phone's okay. So lively little fella. It obviously wanted out the can. Okay, no, it still wants out of the can. Bloody hell. So there we go. Yes, I'm in the garden. Yes, I'm in the back garden on the decking. Yes. Yes. No, no barbecues today. No, no, no. Not in this weather. That's too bleeding hot. I've got a KFC coming. So, um, yeah, chilling out in the garden. Four new ones from Tesco's today. I didn't even know there was any new ones in Tesco. Oh, they're at it again, aren't they? What's the new beers then? Out of curiosity. Oh, it's interesting. I know there's a new vocation one coming out. I've heard that. Whether we'll get it in Nottingham. Still no notifications. Good evening, mate. Beer spillage, I know. Yeah, it's on my knee as well. All down my leg. It's called me leg down, so that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> hazy pour. Hazy, I'd say hazy golden pour in this light. Chock banana and a triple. Oh, that's you. Oh, I might have to take a trip to um, Tesco's tomorrow night. Now, that does sound nice, Mr. Bowman Bear Reviews. The, uh, the banana imperial stout certainly sounds my sort of thing. Waitrose. Yeah, I need to start going to some supermarkets. I think I'm just going to just gonna um, go back to doing supermarket beers because you go to all these different shops and uh, supermarkets is the place to get them from, isn't it, really? And cheaper normally, especially if you're on a budget. Not much on the nose on this, to be fair. I think it's all on the floor. Good morning, Sam. How are you, mate? And good evening, Adam. You've just been weeding. You killed, you killed, the weeds have killed your hops. Bless you, mate. Bless you. 11.4%. Ooh, that's interesting. 
Yeah, the sunglasses are crap. Yeah, yeah, look. Yeah, I can't. I can, I can see the screen, but I can't see the comments. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the. I'll take the. I'll take the sunglasses off again. Some Cremati Brewery, seven point two percent. That sounds nice. Yeah, I must. Um, uh, apparently, Audi have got new beers in as well. There's a cherry lager in Audi. Um, if anybody's seen it. To say this is a West Coast, it's um, it's quite subtle at the moment, to be fair. We'll see how it goes. All that. I'm in more in chat mode than, than, than review mode. And especially now it's gone down my leg. It's caught my leg down now. I was warm on the legs, so... It's not too it's not too bad a thing you know it's quite chilling yeah nice cold lager cut nice cold beer down the legs yeah oh well williams brothers yeah they're usually good aren't they williams brothers let's hope, let's hope they are good as well there wasn't in audi yesterday to be fair i still have got a new iron maiden lager Oh, but it's at that time of the year again, isn't it? We're, we're in silly mode again. Loads and loads of new beers and lagers. We would have been in the October, but both of us are feeling under the weather. We've both got stinking colds. So I've got a stinking cold. I feel shit. So we're not going in the October tonight. Although probably the October would be the good thing for it, you know. Yeah, piss. Yeah, yeah. You don't piss down the legs. <laughs> or the other. Yeah, don't want that. So, yeah. Trooper. Yeah, Trooper was disappointing, wasn't it? I did find some of these Iron Maiden ones. They've not been the best. The IPA was, again, that was a bit um, not so good. It wants it want a great beer. So, yeah. Hazy Golden Paw. Whitehead. Bit of a gusher. Matrix 4. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that slow mo shit. I could. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good. I could do that definitely. Oh dear. Getting the twang from this now. Audi's craft range has got better. The first release was disgusting. Half the beers were, were, were too early. They were rushed. Twice as nice was twice as bloody horrible. Uh, but I, I tried the um, strawberry one last week and I actually liked it, you know. So maybe, maybe it's got better. Good evening, Benjamin. How are you, matey? Not too bad. Apart from a shitty code, but, uh, you know, a bit of man flu. Job's good. Right, yeah, I need to start going to supermarkets then, yeah. Yeah, although I'm trying to save up for October Beer Festival, so I'm, I'm trying not to buy new beers, trying. Um, yeah, always on the run up to Christmas, there's new beers. Yeah, you know, we're not far off Christmas really, when you think about it. I mean, September, October, November, you know, we're not far away. <laughs> Another little craft beer festival. Jesus Christ. I can't keep up. I need to, I need to stop buying any more beers. I'm not I'm trying not to buy any new beers. I mean, I am buying five cases, five cases of the Raggy's Golden Ale, but that's because family and friends want it. So, hopefully I'll get some of my money back as well, hopefully. Fuck off. And um Yeah, I'm trying to save up. I might have to go tomorrow night, yeah. I've got some spare money to put aside, so I might go down tomorrow night and... Uh... <laughs> Do you know how many beers I've got? It's just ridiculous. The beer wall's breached, and that beer wall can hold a lot of beers. 
and uh, the bare fridge is breached and I've just got no room anywhere. They're on the floor. I can't even get them on the wall anymore. Yeah, sometimes you have to cut back, don't you? You know, you can't do every single new beer. It's impossible. We, I mean, this time last year, you could do every beer because there weren't many beers coming out. But now, at the moment, it's just ridiculous. Every single brewery is bringing out new beers and new beers and new beers. I'll have a look tomorrow night, Greg. I'll have a look. Be nice to do a live again and do a catch up. I don't mind doing that on your channel, mate. I'm all good for that. Yeah. Hopefully on a day when it's not sunny, so I can use the Chromebook in the garden. Um, I need to get an adapter and an Ethernet adapter for the Chromebook. Uh, Ethernet to USB. Plug it in, and then I can use the octo room, uh, the beer room, like normal. Ah, right here. Yeah, we'll do. Yes, I might get the wife to pop in tomorrow, uh, give her 20 quid. I presume they're only a fiver for the vocation ones. I can't see them being any more than a fiver at Tesco's. They wouldn't sell. For a West Coast, yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't say it was um, a twang fest of a beer that you would expect it to be. Um. Certainly easy drinking, 6%. No, no. Let's be fair. You will drink yourself into oblivion by trying to keep up. You can only do so many beers. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm learning to pick the beers that I want to review, not just review any old crap. See, I want to use the Chromebook in the bear room. But I need, I've got an Ethernet, I've got Ethernet cable into the bare room, but it needs an adapter. Rightio, that's not too bad then. So 20 quid, 20 quid I'll get all the new ones from Tesco's. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. The triple and banana does sound lovely. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 20 quid. Well, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I've got, I'm putting 150 quid aside for the Raggies beers for what, for obvious reasons. You know, I'm going to save some of them for, for aging and uh, for, um, for the future. And I'll definitely save a few empty bottles, funnily enough. No, the gold nail is not out yet. No. Um, apparently, there's been issues, um, transport issues, I think. Um, it's coming out midweek, hopefully midweek, and there's 1,500 bottles, so that's not a lot of bottles. Um, I'm looking to buy 60 myself, so um, I can see it selling out, you know, which would be which would be good for um, good for Lincoln Green. Taking bottles out, littles, bless you. Yeah, five quid for a, for a triple IPA. Yeah. I mean, at Black Iris Brewery last week, when I went to the tap room, it was like 12 quid for, um, what was it? It, won, it, won, it would be a 500 mil. Yeah, be a two thirds, two thirds of a pint. So, um, yeah, not cheap. Not cheap at all. Oh, you're not, are you? Bloody hell. I'll have to reciprocate in some way. I've got some nice homebrew stuff anyway. Fucking hell, you'll get steaming on my homebrew. And uh, yeah, it's lethal stuff. It's good stuff. It's good. It is. It's, it, it's as good as you're ever going to get from a homebrew imperial. Let's put it that way. But um, from kit, obviously, not from grain. You know, there's that's a different kettle of fish, obviously. I agree, Sam. Um, it's getting harder and harder. Every brewery now is bringing out new releases like One Oak. And um, going to tap rooms is going to tap rooms is a good way to catch up on a lot of these releases because you can buy 
very small quantities, like a third of a pint or even less, you know, like 100 mils or something daft. And you can, you can do a small review and just get a little bit of the review rather than buying like one can after another can after another can. Because obviously there's only so much you can drink. Out of their own brew in the skip. Shit. Raid that skip, mate. Raid that skip. Hey. Jesus Christ. Get in that skip and get that own brew out of the skip. Bloody hell. Are you near me? <laughs> me too, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be drinking anything bigger than the third. Or half, if I can help it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be being sensible. When Craig was up, I was quite sensible. Good evening, Lorraine. How are you? And it's very sunny here in Nottingham. Yeah, craft beers. The, the craft breweries have exploded. I didn't even know in Nottingham that there were so many craft breweries. And it's just exploded, hasn't it? It's just... I mean, we are in the middle of it. It's like a golden generation at the moment. And... Um, the, the, the boundaries are being pushed so much all the time. But it's not just craft breweries, traditional breweries, and then them in the middle as well, the traditional and craft. Yeah, thirds all the way, Chris. I agree, mate. Thirds all the way and... Good evening, Miles. Thirds all the way and water. That's how me and Craig got through 12 hours the other day. Yeah, there is a saturation point in the market. But I think big breweries will, will learn a lesson from the small breweries. But then what happens then? Big breweries buy small breweries just to take them out of the equation. The weather's beautiful, thank you. Fire what brewing imp is. Yeah, I've got... A, I've got um, I've got a review to post. I've got to edit the review though, and I've got to I've got to check the review because I think I was pissed. Yeah, I was steaming on the review. You don't do water? Oh God! I think I need to do water. I did with Craig, and I actually went through the whole day. Yeah, so that that's good for me. Double diamond. What's a double diamond? Cider. So, yeah, that song's really doing my nothing. I used to have curtains, proper good curtains I could push across and blank the sun out, but now... Yeah, we did that on day two. We started off on lagers and low ABVs and then worked back up to the, um, to the big stuff, you know, and... Uh, it was nice. It was nice to um, have a change. One step above from water. Well, fair play. Sometimes, you know, you have to, you have to knock yourself down. Yeah, we all want to be the hero, but sometimes you just have to drink some low ABV stuff, and it's just to get yourself back into it, and then, and then go a bit more. Yeah, I learned my lesson on day two. In the morning, I wasn't feeling beer at all. We had a heavy night on the Friday night at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Jagman knows. <laughs> God, he, he had a really heavy night. Bless him. Uh, Craig was the best of us, and I was second best. But uh, Jagman, oh dear, oh dear. He was rough, bless him. And uh, on the second day, I thought, right, that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pace myself today. <laughs> I don't blame him, Darren. Get what you can, mate. Good evening, Andy. Young reggae. I like that. I do like that, yeah. Yeah. See, the second day, obviously, tap room Saturday. And obviously, Neon Raptors tap room. Um, oh, hey, oh. Liquid lights tap room. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down with my feet up. You can't beat it, can you? 
Yeah, me too, Craig. Um, I was. Um, it, it's funny because you, you have a good weekend and then you have a, then you, you go down a bit and it's like a, I need something, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Friggin' sun, it's blasting right at me. That's better. Hey, oh, oh, here we go. Hey, I can see the screen there. Yeah, that's better. Hey. To apologize. So, Spokane by Kirkstall Brewery. That's what I'm supposed to be reviewing, actually. Funnily enough, not much of a nose at all on it, though. If I'm being honest, Copperberg. The the hard seltzers are different, aren't they? Yeah. Currently on two weeks of the beer. I'm not keen on hard seltzers. I'm not. I'm really not. It's just sparking bloody water to me. It's, um, you know, we've all got our cup of teas and that's not my cup of tea. No, not at all. No, it's, um, it's, uh, it's an acquired taste, I think. It's hard seltzers. But then again, you know, at a certain time, in a certain place, every, every alcohol has its, um, you know, every alcohol hits the spot for you. So, you know, sometimes you something just like a lager. Westerns, I don't mind Westerns. Brother's Cider Toffee Apple. Yeah, I like Brother's Cider. I do. You're off the beer now, just for the weekend. Oh, bless you. I know one of these days I ought to do that. One of these days. I have lowered my beer consumption down, though. You haven't had a beer for eight months. Fair play. Yeah, the Robin Hood Beer Festival, I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I think it's going to be... It's going to be... I think it's going to be more of a laugh. And a good a good meet up with people. There we go. Move that camera up a bit. That's better. Fosters. We all like what we like, though, don't we? You know, can't slag anybody off for liking what they like. Too many people in this world think that, uh, you know. I mean, I like Malibu and I like Bailey's. I, mean, I could care less what people think. You know, it is what it is. Malibu Black is probably my favourite spirit of all time. Can't get it. But I absolutely love it, and I love I love the Baileys. Sweet toothed. No, mate. Even I ain't got a discount code. No. So I'm going to the as soon as it's in the brewery, I'm going to go down and I'm going to order five cases. I presume it's thirty quid a case. Um. So we'll see what they're giving me for. I've got I've got the money to buy it, pay for it for the right price, you know. So I'll see I'll see what they charge me. Good evening, Mick. Oops. So I'm drinking Kirkstall Breweries Spokane. It's a West Coast IPA, six percent. Um, it's a bit of a gusher, to be honest. A prodigious IPA retaining delectable drinkable drinkability, gluten free, and it pissed all over my legs. Ten percent off would have been awesome, wouldn't it? It would have been awesome. Yeah, I think our taste buds change though, don't we? I mean, with regards to Stella, you know, um, and Stella's gone down in ABV, hasn't it as well? So I wouldn't know. I've always used hotels. I suppose it's um, it's probably a cheaper way of getting a, a place, I suppose. And you're not stuck in a hotel setting. Is it? Spokane in Washington? I didn't know that. Best beer festival. Um, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival was amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
yeah it was amazing it was it was to go down there and you know for somebody like me who's who's a nobody who does beer reviews to go down and and get people um coming up to you and saying raggy and getting free beers and that it, it made it chilled me out and it made it made a great time Jagman, yeah, bless him. He, he, he uh, <laughs> yeah, bless him. He didn't off hit the booze hard, and uh, like every good soldier, yeah, it was man down. <laughs> this week, Greg, for the Waggies beer, definitely this week. It should have been last Friday. Um, I was all expecting to go last Friday and get it, and um, but even the I spoke to the business manager at Lincoln Green, and he told me it was going to be this this week. And I said, "Oh, right. I, I thought it was supposed to be Friday." And he didn't say much else. I used to watch wrestling back in the day. Don't watch it now. No, it's it's too fake for me. Saint Louis. Good evening, Benjamin. That would be awesome, Adam, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, don't worry. I'll save a bottle of the raggies for that. And me and Rob, me, Rob and you and need to go down to, and Harry, obviously, need to go down to the, um, <laughs> not Superstar. We need to go down to Neon Raptors tap room and have, and have the, um, I have the Rob's beer down in the tap room. That's got to be the way. NWA's back on YouTube. YouTube's a big platform these days. Two blocks away from Budweiser Brewery. Fair play there. I can understand that, Benjamin, you know. Yeah, I can understand needing to be fresh. I understand. I, I do understand that, especially if you're the one taking him. Saint, come to St. Louis, yeah, not on my wages, yeah, sadly, I'd love to. <laughs> Oakham Brewery still going, oh yeah, very much so, yeah, decent brewery. Rick Flair's back with the NWA, Jesus Christ, how old is he now? He must be about 70 year old. Then again, I wouldn't like to tackle him, get your ass kicked. You know, these people know their wrestling moves, you know, and I know, I know, I know so much of it is fake, but, you know, they know how to hit you and hit you bloody hard. Yeah, Neon Raptors are um, amazing, Adam, and uh, and everybody else as well, you know. Um, Seventy-two, Ric Flair. I'll tell you what, as a fifty year old, I wouldn't want to go up against him. You get you you get you get your ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> Big Daddy. He died years ago. <laughs> but um, it was a nice, impy style. Strong. Very nice. Yeah. It'd still kick your ass, though. You know, um, Ric Flair is some, you know, one was one of the all-time greats, isn't it? And... Uh, it's not just his wrestling, it's his persona. It's it's what he brings to the ring. It's you know, is um oh bloody hell, I can't think of the word. You know his personality. And it, it's his personality that wins over like Hulk Hogan. They've both got they're both their personalities are so over compared to a lot of today's young wrestlers. 
where they've got no person. They might be good wrestlers, but the crap personalities. Buddy Rogers, Jesus Christ, that's some time ago. Yeah. Bruiser Brody. So now I'm getting the twang from this. Still quite subtle, to be honest. If anybody's watching this for actual for an actual review, um, it is, you know, hazy, golden, whitehead, twangy. Obviously, it's tropical flavour. All-time great wrestlers. I see, I liked the Ultimate Warrior. I thought he was bloody amazing. But then Jake the Snake, he was an unbelievable wrestler. Yeah, promo skills, it's what it's all about in wrestling, definitely. I used, to, I used to watch a lot of wrestling, to be fair, back in the day. I was a massive wrestling fan. These days, not so much, to be fair. They spoiled it too much with, you know, a lot of the crap they've done. Um, and some of the unbelievable stuff. I mean, wrestling is fake. We know wrestling's fake. And it's all about storylines. Good storylines, believable storylines. You know, they're the good storylines. You don't want the storylines where it's just, you know, Ridiculous story. That's Harley Race. He was some wrestler. Bob Backlund. God, you're going back some years there. Yeah, I loved the one. Yeah, Ultimate Warrior. I mean, he was, he was, when him and Hulk Hogan met in, I think it was 1996, was it? Or something like that. Oh, that was a match. Anyway. Got to run. My Chinese is nearly ready. So I better actually do the review part of this. <laughs> These things happen, yeah. It's usually me and and toilets at the Arboretum, so it makes a change, doesn't it? So, hazy, golden pour. Got to say, the nose is very subtle on this. It is, it's very, very subtle. Um, the taste, though. There's definitely more of a twang in the taste element. Um, I am going to do a review later. Whether it's a live review, I'm not sure. But I'll I'll let you know beforehand. Harvey, Harley, oh, yeah, you wouldn't want to meet him in the fight, would you? Harvey Race. Or, or Harley Race, even. Right, my dinner's here. So, got to run. Um, KFC, whoa, get in. Yeah, this 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 where the champions fall every day. It's like eh. it, it it voids the character, voids the scene. So, um, well, well, I don't know. Um, I can hear somebody in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get battered later over dinner. <laughs> so. Um, hazy golden pour, white head, little to no nose, to be fair. There's a tropical taste to it. It's twangy. It's easy drinking. 6% not feeling no ABV on this. Not feeling the ABV at all. You wouldn't think it was um, 6%. But even so, nice and drinkable. And uh, woof. And that's it for this review slash chat. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, hey, oh, the gobshite from the top of the road, Jackin. Hear that fucking dog? Oh, she's a dickhead. Yeah. Twat and half. And uh, anyway, yeah. good thing she's not watching, eh? Do I care? No, I don't. Anyway, cheers, everyone. See you soon. Cheers. KFC time.
All right, where's the... Uh, can't, can't turn it off. There we go. And uh, cheers all.